This is WNBF News at 6. There's no weed. Yeah, dude. I'll read behind your page, you know? What's that? I'll read behind your page, you know? Ahead at six, more of the newly released video taking you inside the undercover operation where police say they found illegal levels of THC at products in Myrtle Beach smoke shops. Also at six, I spoke with friends and family of a Loris High School student who was found shot dead last night. I'm live in the breaking news center with why they say they're so surprised this happened. And a big drop in temperatures tonight with that spring warmth. It returns soon. How cold is going to get? Your first alert to the return of those 70s. That's ahead of my first alert forecast. But first, a breaking news update. Myrtle Beach police have released these photos of a man believed to be involved in a bank robbery at First Citizens Bank. It's a story many of you first heard about through a breaking news alert from our WMBF News app. WMBF News reporter Aaron Ladd has been on the scene all afternoon. And Aaron, we have these new images tonight, but what else have you learned? Eric and Meredith, I've been at this bank off Kings Highway for a majority of the afternoon. However, many of those who live in this area are getting off work and just getting home and finding out that this bank right behind me, that First Citizens Bank in Myrtle Beach, robbed again for the second time in just four months. And new information just being released by Myrtle Beach Police Department. That's right, the suspect, images of the suspect being released. And we want to show you those images right now. Police say this is the man that entered the First Citizens Bank around 1.30 this afternoon and robbed the place, leaving with an unknown amount of cash. Aaron Ladd, WNBF News. All right, let's switch to your weather now. That cold is filtering in after several beautiful spring days. Chief Meteorologist Jamie Arnold called it. Now first alert meteorologist Robert Whitehurst joins us with just how cold it's going to get tonight where you live. Well, an update of breaking news we first brought to you this morning. An investigation is underway tonight after a Loris High School student was found dead. Authorities say 18-year-old Martrelis Vereen was shot and later found face down at Flagpatch Road Cemetery last night. Family, friends, and community members say they're shocked and heartbroken at the news of his death. Many people I spoke to describe him as a good student, never getting into any trouble. They say he spent much of his time ushering at the Fremont Baptist Church and could always put a smile on anyone's face. Well, the family is asking whoever is responsible to come forward. Horry County Police say it's their sincere hope to bring some form of closure to those affected by this loss. Meanwhile, counselors were on hand today at Loris High School for staff and students affected by the tragic death. Live in the Breaking News Center, Christina Loeb, WMBF News. It's a story we follow closely for you since last year after Myrtle Beach police announced they would start testing CBD products for THC. That was back in July. Since then, we've received results for various products the department purchased to test. Well, now the videos undercover officers took when they made some of those purchases. WMBF News reporter Marissa Tanzino joins us now. So tell me, what have you learned from watching some of these videos? Well, Eric, it was really interesting to see the reaction, the interaction between the undercover police officer and the people behind the counter. In some videos, you can hear the undercover officer ask things like how high a product will get them and how much THC a product has. Now, through our Freedom of Information Act request, we also obtained two notices the police department sent to two businesses in the city saying they sold marijuana disguised as industrial hemp containing illegal amounts of THC. Myrtle Beach police say the investigation is ongoing. Live in the studio, Marissa Tancino, WMBF News. In an update to a story we first told you about over the weekend, this woman is now facing charges after a three-year-old was found wandering alone on Highway 9 in the Longs area last weekend. Horry County Police say Brooke Carr is charged with unlawful neglect of a child. Police say that child remains in the custody of the Department of Social Services tonight. Troopers say the driver of a tractor trailer running a stop sign led to a crash with a pickup truck, leaving one person dead, four others injured. That includes three children. North Carolina State Highway Patrol says the crash happened around 6.50 last night at the intersection of Broad Ridge Road and Collins Drive. The driver of the pickup truck was taken to a burn center in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, while passenger Stephanie Smith died at the scene. Three children in the truck were critically injured and were flown to Grand Strand and McLeod Hospitals. Troopers say charges are pending against Andrew Oxendine, who was driving that tractor trailer. The latest now on Interstate 73. The city of Myrtle Beach wants to work with other municipalities to fund the highway project, but the city and county discussion about I-73 will most likely take place behind closed doors. WMBF News reporter Aaron Edwards is live now to tell us what they plan to discuss and why. 
WMBF News. As Horry County grows, so does the need for improving infrastructure, and leaders have proposed a solution to funding those projects that doesn't involve raving, raising your taxes. WMBF investigates impact fees and what they mean for your wallet. Still to come in our weekly It's Your Money report.